Hi. Um, so I just came back from a business seminar. Um, I go every single week to these business seminars so I can learn uh, new things on how to deal with people, um, how to work a business, and uh, how to stay motivated. Because when you work for yourself, it's it's a process. You know, you go from working for someone and following their rules to creating your own rules and creating a plan of success. And you're going to need a mentor and you're going to need coaches and you're going to need advice. And it's not an easy process, but there are places you can go to learn these things. If you're interested, please contact me. I will definitely invite you to come uh, to learn everything that I'm learning. <laughs> um, but yeah, being your own boss is so much better than working a night to five. Um, and sometimes you have to do both at the same time until your side job becomes your full-time job, which is what my event Jack of All Trades is about. It's people that work a nine to five job, but do something else on the side that's their passion that they want to turn into their full-time job. And my goal is to help people get as many people as I can get free from the nine to five, doing whatever it is that they love, uh, finding a solution for them. And if they don't know what they love, I can maybe help you figure that out. Um, the community center is, is about helping the young people figure that out so that they don't have to go through all the mistakes that we've made um, or people that you know might have made. So today, um, it was just more being around positive people and being around like-minded people. And I want to talk about being around like-minded people. A lot of times we stop ourselves from fulfilling our goals and reaching our fullest potential because we're surrounded by people that don't get us. And that's okay because you were put into that circle, that arena, that lifestyle, because it's going to help you in the long run be the person that you're meant to be. So you can appreciate what you're going to get when you get it. All the rewards that are coming, you're going to appreciate it because of everything that you've gone through in your life. But there comes a point where sometimes you outgrow your friends. Um, and it's not a bad thing. I'm not saying don't be friends with your friends. Always be friends with your friends. But sometimes as you grow as a person, because so, everybody grows at different rates, Sometimes you do outgrow your friends and you need to find another group of friends that are like-minded people that can help you now on your next path of life. Now, I'm not saying forget the people that you've met. You can hang out with them, you know, whenever you want, talk to them on the phone. But there comes a point where sometimes you just outgrow the people that are in your life because you're moving on a different path. Um, and I want to talk about that. Because it's okay to outgrow people. You're, the whole point of life is to grow. You don't want to stay the same person your whole entire life. Yeah, you want to have those characteristics and the good nature, um, the maybe the personality, the jovial attitude, whatever it is that you love about yourself, keep that. But you're going to mature and grow and have different experiences. And if you're working in um, business or some type of business, you're constantly, if you want to keep growing and moving up the ladder, um, be learning different things. Reading is essential. It's essential when you're trying to find success. Whether it's you want to be a professional basketball player, you think, yeah, all you got to do is work out. No, it's a mental toughness. It comes from experience. It comes from books. Everything that you need to learn has already been written. You just have to find the book that makes sense to you. You know, and that's why whatever field that you decide you want to be in, people always say, learn your field. Get your hours in, get your practice in, you know, read the books that are going to help you excel in that field. You know, reading is so important. It does something to your brain. It, it creates these connections that allow things to move quicker and smoother. So does writing, not typing, not texting, physical writing. There's something about the way your hand moves and the connections in your brain while you're writing that increase your ability to follow through with something. And these things are really important. These are things that they don't teach you in school, you know? And a lot of times people try to control you by making sure that you stay ignorant, by making sure that you don't think school is cool, by making sure that you're like, I don't need to study that. I don't need to learn that. I'm better than that, you know? And I mean, I've never thought that, but I know there's, I've heard people say that. And I'm like, oh, okay, you know? And it, it's not that school is trying to dumb you down or anything. It's just trying to teach you the basics. Um, today they were talking about speaking, being hung by the words of the tongue, which is a, a verse in the Bible. Um, speaking what you want. I remember I was in a sales company, uh, 2001 to 2005, and they used to always say, fake it till you make it. Just keep talking like you're already there and you'll get there. 
you know, don't speak negative. Like, just always make sure everything's positive. And I've heard this through every single field of business I've been in, but I never understood why until now. Um, and it goes back to the, the book, The Secret. You speak into the world what you want to happen. So if you speak negative, negative things will happen. Sure, your back hurts and you're not feeling good and this and that. And maybe you need to have that conversation so that you can get tips on how to improve that. But it's not something that you should bring up every single time to every single person. Bring it up to your doctor. Bring it up to someone that might be able to help you. But it's not about bringing it up to the whole world all the time because that's the only conversation you have. If that's the only conversation you have, being negative and complaining, open a book. Open a book and talk about that. Talk about what you've learned. Learn something new. You know, um, speaking what you want will allow it to happen. So, for example, I keep talking about this as Jack of All Trades event. And the more I talk about it, the more people are coming up to me saying, I want to be part of it. I want to volunteer. I want to help. But if I never talk about it and I kept it in my brain like a little secret that nobody's supposed to know, then I'll, I would never have the team that I have now that's helping me make this happen in reality. I talk about my community center all the time and I keep meeting people that want to help me in my journey. You know, and it's because I'm talking about it. And it's so important to talk about it. Don't think that someone's going to steal your dream. And if they're stealing your dream, it's because you didn't do anything for it. You didn't do anything to move towards it. They're not stealing your dream. They're doing what you weren't willing to do, which is take action. And that's another thing. Take action. Every little piece of action that you do moves you closer to your goal, moves you closer to reaching your dream. And once you reach that dream, that's awesome. Guess what? I guarantee there will be another dream that pops up and you're like, oh, I've done this. Maybe now I want to do this. You know, so you're constantly going to be growing and moving forward and things are going to be happening and doors are going to open and opportunities that you never even imagined will present themselves to you. And you're going to look at yourself and you're going to be like, I can't believe this is my life. All because you spoke positively. You read a couple of books, a lot of books, not even a couple. Read a lot. Try to read one book a month, you know, at least. I can read one book in a day, you know, but try to read one book a month. You know, and, and look at the number of pages and divide it into 30 days and read that many pages in a day. And if you skip a day, then read double the pages the next day, if that makes any sense. But just try to get yourself into positive habits so you can start achieving the success that you want. Happiness is right around the corner. You know, your definition of happiness is going to be different from the person next to you, which is going to be different from the person next to them. But as long as you figure out what it is that makes you happy and you start working towards it and you just start being positive, all these good things are going to come into your life. Be happy. Speak positively. Hang around with people that are like-minded. People that are going to help uplift and encourage you. They're going to help you be the best you that you can be. There's a lot of people that are in your life that aren't helping you be better. They're just there. And that's cool because you needed them. And you need them there. And then as you develop into the person that you're being, sometimes you need to go back to where you came from. And these people that are in your life will help ground you and remind you of who you are. And that's great but sometimes you do need to move away from this group and learn more just don't lose who you are add it make who you are now add it to who you are you know make who you want to be part of who you are but don't ever lose yourself in the process if that makes any sense um i hope this made sense to somebody <laughs> and that um you think about it and that this helps you lead a more fruitful positive life talk about what you want and move towards that direction and take action and i am looking forward to see how your life changes with that little piece of information <laughs>